Hey and welcome to Not Only Hollywood. Today I'm going to review Nightmare Alley from 2021. This is an American thriller. A man learns how to con desperate people, but then he meets a psychologist who's smarter than he is. In this movie we follow the protagonist who starts working at a carnival and there he meets a man who pretends to be clairvoyant. He learns some things from him which he uses to become successful. But then he meets a psychologist who's smarter than he is and she has her own agenda. I wasn't a big fan of Guillermo del Toro. I wasn't a big fan of del Toro's previous movie, The Shape of Water. I'm not going to pronounce his first name. In my opinion, that movie was terrible. So I hoped he would be on the right track again with Nightmare Alley. But no, this is another boring movie and I don't understand what has happened to this director. This is a long and boring movie with boring characters you don't care about. The universe is cold and there's not much going on here except for the mind games. And the mind games are so simple and there's no magic to be found here. It's an emotionless movie with a runtime of 150 minutes. To be honest, I don't have too much to say about this movie. The movie has some excellent actors, but the script is so grey and cold. Where is the movie magic that Del Toro is known for? Why has he become such a boring director? And why is Kate Blanchett so stiff and unnatural in her role? She's awful in Nightmare Alley. She's creepy as hell with her makeup and my nipples shrunk when she tried to be sexy in some scenes. I still can't find my nipples. Damn you unsexy Kate Blanchett. Damn you. Nightmare Alley is like a boring version of The Prestige. It's like a black sheep of the family that never reaches a climax. The magic isn't present here. Don't waste your time on this movie. Just go to bed and take a good nap instead. From 1 to 10 I give Nightmare Alley a 3 out of 10. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Sleep well and dream about me.